bevel so it can kind of give a realistic type of splash. All right, fam, so we got some fun stuff going on right here. It's pretty busy. Now, let's do the fun stuff, right? Well, that was fun, too, but let's go ahead and add uh, some text. So what I'm going to type is deluxe, and that's for the, uh, the sake of the tutorials, of course. And uh, let's move this up right here. And I like to use kind of like un unique, freaky-like fonts. That's a fun font, right? But that was not my intentions. And, and if I don't find what, I, what I'm looking for, I'm looking for Sarah, Sarah script. Or it could be something like that. No, no, actually, no. Uh, if it was in cursive. But uh, yeah, let's see. Let's see something. Deluxe. Take it out of cursive. Deluxe. That's okay, but that's not really what I'm looking for. I'm looking for something that kind of have a lot of character, swerve and curve. There we go, Sarah script. All right, this is cool, fam. This is a cool, real cool script. And let's take this. We tilt it a little, and um, let's kind of start uh, messing with it. Let me show you a few little. T now let me show you. I got this. I got these presets that I use. Well, I actually, I already created it. Sorry about that. Let me hit the apply. I already created it. It's that. Now, I like to use that. That's pretty, kind of almost, pretty much set right there. But uh, I want to do something a little bit more unique. So let me, let me back that up. And uh, this is a, a fun technique I love to use. It's real common for a lot of my graphics. And it, 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 it's my own signature. So we're going to select that. We're going to move that. I'm going to move up a layer. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my brush. Let me get my brush here, and we're going to go to a regular old airbrush, all right? I'm going to shrink this down. I'm going to select red. I'm going to select red. We're going to paint it red. And then let's go up another layer, and uh, we're going to select white. Now, this is very important, fam. Shrink that white down and kind of just coat the top. Just coat the top, right? And take this uh, elliptical marquee tool, go up in here, and delete. Just delete. Just hit delete. Boom. And deselect. And now you got a little something going on, a little shine, right? Now go back to the uh, channel, the deluxe channel. Hit control and, um, and select. Create another layer and go to black and now what you're going to do is select your brush and you're going to paint down here black and you see already it's giving you a little bit of glossy type of flavor right it gives you a unique gloss now the reason why I like to use I like to do it by hand or manually is because I have more control over the direction and it's not just a static thing All right, so let's hit delete and now what we're going to do is go back to that layer Back to the main layer, because if I cut it off, you see it's red. And hit Control Select. And now let's go up to our uh, selection, and we're going to contract it about 5 pixels. All right, so now that we deselected 5 pixels, now let's go back up to the black. Let's hit Invert and Delete. Boom. And that's going to leave us with a little bit of trim around that letter. And then we got to do the same thing with the white. So select the white channel. Go up here. I mean, it's already there, actually. But just hit delete. And now we just created a trim around it. So we deselect it so we can see all what's going on. Now go back to the layer again. And go up to type. And then hit layer. And go to bevel and boss. And look at that. Look how beautiful that turned out. It's a unique font. It's my own little font that I created, and it has its own little style and little flavor. And you can do whatever else you want to do to it. Like, I like to hit stroke, and um, that didn't sound too good, did it? Stroke. Um, and then kind of adjust it, uh, you know, maybe go into my reds, darker reds, make it a little thicker so it, have a li it got this little special type of look to it you feel me 
and then go down to drop shadow add a drop shadow go to normal and kind of pull it out a little and give it this this little flavor this little vibe and there we go now we got this nice unique colorful font that's been constructed from ground up now I can show you a way how I like to mash all this stuff in but there's a few other things that I like to do right now we're going to zoom out and we're going to go right under make another layer and let's make party flyers oops sorry got to go a little lower boom and let's type par party flyers now something to keep in mind fam when you're doing this type of stuff this here is way too busy you don't want it to be that busy you want some fancy font then you want some pretty much some static font it's very important fam you don't want to overcrowd your stuff now let's 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 uh, select stereo funk it's a simple it's, it's still unique it's still funky but it ain't it ain't cursive like you know what I'm saying like what's what's happening right above so let's move this to the top and um, now something I don't like particular about this I don't like how big the R is you still gotta you know I used to be a graffiti artist fam and I'm gonna tell you your, your uh, the size of your lettering and things like that is very important to the eye. Um, it's it's when things start looking uncoordinated, it, it's it, it's a distraction from the eye. So this font is good, but you don't you know because of this R, this R in to, in my opinion is a little too large. Like this E and this R is a little too large as opposed to this L and Y, um, and even the F. You know so. Uh, I'm gonna pick a different font just because of the way the words is laid out. So let's see if we can find. Uh, let's see this velocity. Now the velocity is a little better. It's playing a little better, right? Uh, the letters is a little bit more coordinated. Uh, have its own unique style, unique look. I'm gonna pull it a little bit, make a stretch, just a little. Pull it back. Okay. And um, what I'm gonna do here is this is a, a font design or should I say it's an action that I purchased and we're going to apply that and it automatically make whatever font you look and make it look you know silver silver or gold whatever you want and then of course you can go in here and you can adjust what's going on so I'm going to hit the pattern overlay and just make sure that it really give me that metallic look so I'm going to adjust the size of that and you can also go in here and move it around once you have that particular layer selected. There, right there. We want to kind of do that. That's cool. And it giving me a metallic look. And what's going to even be even more sweeter, fam, is I'm going to take this file and we're going to drag it into After Effects. Let me tighten this up a little. We're going to drag it into After Effects. And once we do that, I'm going to add some spark on light to it that's going to literally blow you off your socks. All right, fam. So, you know, just, and I apologize for taking so long, and I should have broke this down to sections, but, you know, this is, is it's pretty much, you know, how it's done. And everything else, and we're going to move on to the next chapter about After Effects, but, you know, this pretty much is, here, we're going to type in a lot of the, information that I'm trying to put out there about the flyer so let's say high quality uh, we're going to change this font to a standard font one of my favorite standard fonts is impact so let's find impact and I like to use impact because um, it uh, it's impactful so here we go high quality you know I can't spell so high quality high quality let's see graphic designs for any short and all occasions and uh, I'm going to select that I'm going to shrink it down 